Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. So, I did a video over the orbital wheel covers a few months ago, and to be honest, it, I mean, those were my exact results I got. I mean, I've, I didn't fabricate anything, but uh, the, the test was a little short, so the average could have been off just a little bit. So I'm gonna rerun that test today on an 80 mile loop so I'm gonna go 40 miles this way <laughs> and I'm gonna take that number down and then I will come 40 miles back and take that number down and average them together the reason I'm just not gonna let it run continuously is because when I get to the other end of the loop I'm gonna do some other things so I'm gonna reset the numbers before I do my return trip and we will just manually average those numbers to see what the loop results are. The way we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go exactly 70 miles an hour. Um, you know, it is Oklahoma, so the wind is a bit unpredictable. You know, it's, it's kinda windy right now. I will look on the weather and post what the exact wind is at the moment and the direction, and that way when I do the stock aero wheel covers I can post the wind speed and direction and that way you'll know to add or subtract a couple watt hours per mile depending on what the wind is doing I have no control over the wind here in Oklahoma so obviously that could be a factor in my test I will reset these numbers at exactly the same point each way um, there was a mile line I was already going 70 when I reset the numbers. On the far end, there's a bridge right before I take my exit. That is where I will reset and record my numbers on that side of the loop. So that way, you know, I'm already going 70 and it's before I need to slow down. And you know, when I start the other side of the loop, I can be going 70 by the time I hit that spot. So. Everything I give you today will be 70 miles an hour. There won't be any speed ups or slow downs. Everything is exactly 70. So let's get on down the road here and we will see how this turns out. the end of the first loop and we're looking pretty good we're at 255 watt hours per mile we've used nine kilowatt hours to get here and it's not quite 40 miles it's 35 it's gonna be about 36 miles uh, so that's uh, I mean that's that's plenty far to get a good average so that means it's gonna be 70 miles round trip instead of 80, but no big deal. So, coming up right here on the end, as soon as we hit this bridge here, this is where I'm gonna reset it, or where I'm gonna start and stop on this end. So, here we are, 253, 36.3 miles, 253, all right? I will see you on the other side. All right, so we are resetting it now. We just hit the bridge. The main reason I wanted to redo this test is just because I kind of felt like the first test wasn't really fair for the orbital wheel covers. After I had them for a few months, I was able to see that you know the efficiency was actually pretty good and maybe that first test wasn't well representative of their capabilities so that's why I'm redoing it today on a longer average so this was the start of the return part of the loop I will see you at the other side and we'll see how we did for the orbital wheel covers
coming up to the end of the run for the orbital wheel covers. We're at 35.9 miles, 11 kilowatt hours used on this run, and we are at 302 watt hours per mile. It is a little bit more uphill on the way back into town than it is on the way out of town. And here's the final results right here. 302, 36.3, 11 kilowatt hours used. And that is your final numbers for the orbital wheel covers. Let's get these numbers averaged and I will display that on the screen right now. I'm going to go ahead and leave myself running in the background here. So for the orbital wheel covers, we know the trip out was 253 watt hours per mile. I think I had a little bit of a downhill going on. And so the trip back was 302 watt hours per mile. So that gives us an average of 277.5 watt hours per mile. And that is a much better finding than what I found last time. Let me go ahead and flip over to last time. So you can see here at my first efficiency loop test, I did a 10 mile loop and I got much higher numbers. After driving on orbitals for a few months, I realized that first number was was a lot higher than the overall average. So I definitely wanted to put out a new video and make sure that uh, people were getting correct information. Not that my first video was incorrect. I mean, it was windy that day, and you know, sometimes wind affects things a lot more than you think it does. So, I mean, it was pretty windy today too, but you can see the longer average was much better than 322 watt hours per mile. So let's move on with the second half of this test and go ahead and slap on the stock Tesla Aero wheel covers and we will rerun this test and see what they come up with. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since the last video. Uh, I chose today because the wind is very similar to the first day. It's about uh, 16 to 18 miles an hour, which that's what it was the first day. So today I got the factory aero wheel covers on and I reset my mileage at exactly the same spot. I'm already going 70 and I will see you in uh, 36.4 miles, I think it was. I can't really remember the exact mileage. But we're going to get on down the road and we will see once and for all who has the better efficiency the orbital wheel covers or the stock aero wheel covers so sit back and relax I'm gonna make I don't know if you can hear that my car whistles when it gets windy when there's a good crosswind I have a whistle that comes from the front somewhere good old Tesla build quality anyway I'm going to uh, run this uh, GoPro and super fast forward and we will see each other in just a few seconds for you probably why is this guy getting off the road here oh, weird stuff always happening I'm going exactly 70 I'm gonna stay on autopilot the whole time so we will put this GoPro in super fast forward and I will see y'all in just a few seconds but it's gonna be like 35 minutes for me. We are crossing this bridge and this is the end point right here. We are 36.3 and 272 watt hours per mile. 36.3, 36.4 miles, and 272 watt hours per mile. Okay, I'm gonna take this exit here, and then I'm gonna reset my numbers, and we will go back the other way. We're on the way home. I just crossed the bridge just a second ago and got everything reset. So this is the final leg of the trip. We're gonna see now, once and for all, if the stock aero wheel covers can overcome the orbital wheel covers we will see here 
Uh, they're coming in strong right now. I'm down to 260 watt hours per mile, but I'm only four miles in right now. So, you know, anything can happen. Uh, the stock covers uh, numbers were a little bit high on the way in, but on the way out, they seem like they're a little bit low. So that average may beat the orbitals. It may not. We will see in just a second. All right, there we were, 36.4 miles, 254 watt hours per mile. So that is the end, 236.4, 254 watt hours per mile. Let me go ahead and throw it to myself in the editing bay. Go ahead, Postman. Thanks, Crazy Postman. So let's go over the final results one more time, just so you can have it crystal clear here on the screen. So the previous results for the orbitals, the average came out to 277.5 watt hours a mile. Let's go ahead and pull up this round for the Tesla aero wheel covers. We can see the trip out was 272 watt hours a mile. The trip back was a surprising 254 watt hours per mile. So that brings the grand average to 200 and 63 watt hours per mile so you can see the stock arrow wheel covers still pulled out a victory on this one against the orbitals but it is a much better showing this time for the orbital wheel covers than it was in my first video so if you've gotten this far in the video i want to thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button before you leave if you're not and if you like watching my videos go ahead and ring that little bell because youtube doesn't always like to show you my videos so if you ring that bell you'll at least know when I post something and you yourself can choose to watch it or not but I appreciate you making it this far in the video and I will see you in the next one